Okay, so if you really want to get this pop, I'm just going to get this out of the way really quick because it's a really cool pop and I don't know how much longer it's going to be available for pre-order. If you want to get it, it is available for pre-order in-store only at GameStop. You can't pre-order it online yet and I think it's kind of GameStop and Funko trying to see how many they're going to be able to sell and I think this will be a really popular pop due to reasons I'm going to say in a little bit, but this is a really, really cool Inosuke pop and I mean it's a t-shirt bundle. Which is really cool, but um, yeah, if you want to get it, I would definitely recommend going and pre-ordering it in GameStop. You only have to put five dollars on it. You don't even have to pay the full thirty yet, and that's all I did. I put five dollars on it, so I've got one pre-ordered and can just pay the twenty-five or whatever left uh, whenever it actually comes in. So, if you really want to get this pop, I would recommend going to GameStop ASAP. And the only reason why I didn't add this in the last video is I wanted to make sure my GameStop was doing it. And I was pretty sure all GameStops were, but I just wanted to be 100% positive and not say anything not true to you all. So, uh, let's get into why I think this is a interesting pop, we'll say. Okay, so here's what the common NSK pop is in just the common Demon Slayer way, which is actually the body of the... GameStop exclusive. And here is the Chalice Collectibles Chase Bundle. And the chase is the maskless Inosuke. And I think it literally, the bundle, or the GameStop exclusive, is literally just the chase head on the common body. Okay, so now that I've kind of went over what the Inosuke is, and how it's kind of a lazy design since they pretty much just did a head swap, I think it was actually a smart move by Funko. Kind of a lazy move, but a smart move. And the reason why is, a bunch of people wanted the maskless Inosuke since, I mean... He's pretty cool in the anime. He's one of my favorite characters. But Demon Slayer is a really good anime. I recommend watching it if you haven't already. Especially since that new season's about to come out pretty soon, I think. But moving on from that. The, uh, the reason why I think the Chalice Chase was so expensive. Well, not super expensive, but so popular. And why I think the resale was really, really high for it. Is because a bunch of people wanted a Masko Skinosuke. And I didn't think... I didn't think people would know if there was going to be another maskless Inosuke, especially not this soon, because that chase, I think it will hurt its value that this pop is coming out, because I think that was one of the big deals why it was so popular, is because he was just maskless, and with this one literally being the common with the head swap, I think this is definitely a good route to go if you want to get a maskless Inosuke, which is why I personally went in and pre-ordered it, because I really wanted to get an Inosuke pop, Especially, I really love these new GameStop, um, and I guess most places are going to probably start doing it like this, but I love these new Funko um, t-shirt bundles, how the pop is actually visible, because now you can keep it in box, and it seems cool, or way better than what it was, and I'll show that off in a little bit, but yeah, if you, I would recommend getting this pop, because I think it'll be a popular pop. It does have, I think, the new GameStop sticker, which, I mean, I know everybody's not crazy about, but still, getting the... Maskless Inosuke, I think, is definitely a plus, especially for only $30 with the t-shirt. I think it's a great move. And the t-shirt box, these ones have started to look really good lately. Um, the three I know GameStop has had, they've done Modera, which I did get and I do have um, right now. Uh, they also have the one girl from My Hero, the villain, that a bunch of people like. I uh, can't think of her name, but I haven't really watched much of My Hero, but... If you've watched My Hero, you know who I'm talking about. Because they actually had her in store when I did pre-order Inosuke. And the Inosuke box looks great as well. The My Hero box probably looks the worst, just to be honest. Just because the modern one's got like the Akatsuki uh, clouds on it. And the Inosuke one, I love this. This is like the Miami Vice colors, like that black, pink, and blue. Really, really awesome colors, I think. Here's the Madara t-shirt bundle I was talking about. Kind of looks like a Pokeball, just to be honest, where it's the red, black, and white. And here's the Akatsuki clouds. And now I'm going to go over really quickly what the um, other t-shirt bundles used to look like and why I think this is a huge impression. This is what the old t-shirt boxes look like. You can't even see the pop. And yeah, that's how it is. And this is the only Dragon Ball pop I actually have. I, I have liked what I've seen in Dragon Ball. It's definitely not like my favorite anime, but I understand why a bunch of people like Dragon Ball. But... With the amount of Funko Pops and it just not being a crazy good anime to me, I don't see myself trying to complete the set. 
maybe if once I can get like the Naruto Hunter Hunter One Piece, most of those waves done, maybe I'll start collecting more Dragon Ball. But as of right now, this is probably going to be the only Dragon Ball pop in the collection for a bit. Um, and I wanted to mention right at the end here, uh, the Inosuke pop. I have no idea when it's going to go for pre-order online, and that's why I would just recommend getting in store because I, it doesn't really seem like there's a limit of how many is available for pre-order right now. And by that, I don't mean you can pre-order 10. Maybe you can. But what I mean is, I think, as of right now, you can get one for sure if you pre-order. But if you wait, you might end up missing out. And I don't think GameStop restocks the t-shirt bundles much after they've made them once. Because, like, that Naruto Ramen Bowl that had Kakashi Lightning Blade, which I really wish I would have got. But that was really before I was getting into Funko Pops. They haven't restocked that one yet. But, I mean, they did just pre restock the... Naruto versus Sasuke Funko Pop, so maybe GameStop is going to start restocking some of that stuff, so, um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned, I do have one video that I'm going to film today, but will probably come out in a day or two, and I'll give you a little spoiler to that.